Hello and happy new year. Welcome to the Craft Stash Facebook live show. I'm Jeanette, your crafty host today. So sorry for the delay. We were having some technical difficulties, which is all right. <laughs> Helping me today behind the scenes is going to be Shoshana. Shoshana, say hello to everybody. Hello. <laughs> uh, okay, and I'm going to be checking on my cell phone since I'm flying solo today. Usually we have somebody uh, joining me or we have celebrity guests as well, which is really fun. But today it's just me, so I'm just going to make sure that we are streaming okay. We've got 19 viewers. Yay! 19 for 2019. Real exciting. <laughs> All right, so you can leave comments throughout the broadcast. I'm going to be um, checking them, reading them throughout. So let me turn that off for a second. And yeah, if you could just be so kind as to share this broadcast with your friends in your crafty groups, with all your family, with everybody. That would be amazing so that they can join in on the fun. We've got an exciting show. We're going to be talking about all things new at Craft Stash. We've got some exciting announcements, uh, new products to share, giveaways, and the giveaways are fantastic because some of them we can't even show you because they're they're so new and exclusive. So you're going to be like the first person to get these. You're going to be the first person in England to receive these prizes if you are one of the lucky winners because new stuff, new stuff. So yay, yay. Okay, let's read some comments. Let's see who's tuning in. Whoops. Here we go. I hope everybody had a great new year and a great Christmas. We're happy to be back. Let us know if you did anything fun. Uh, Jennifer McMullen says, hi everyone. Sue Lloyd says, hello everyone. Tracy Arnold, happy new year to you all. Thank you so much, Tracy. Tom McCormick says he shared to my crafty groups. Thank you, Tom. Annette Dagwell says, hi all, happy new year. Lorna Buckland, happy new year to all. Sue Lloyd, thank you so much for sharing. Uh, uh, Joel Rice, happy new year to all. Jane says she's glad to see us. Everybody is saying Happy New Year. All right. We've got a, uh, uh, Lorna says, a comment from Lorna. She says that she doesn't have sound on hers. Um, and I wonder if that's just her. Maybe, hmm. That's strange. I think, I think we're okay. I yeah, I've got sound on mine. I just turned it, turned it on. So. Keep trying, maybe refresh. Uh, you can exit the broadcast and then come back in and hopefully that will work. Um, Edna Taylor says, lovely to see you back, Jeanette. That's my daughter's name, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Happy New Year, Edna, and your daughter, Jeanette, Happy New Year. <laughs> All right, okay. I need a drink of water because I kind of need to regroup after our, <laughs> our uh, delay and technical difficulties that we were having. <laughs> All right, so. All things new. Today we are giving away over a hundred pounds worth of crafty prizes and I'm going to tell you how to enter that giveaway in just a bit. So we have a few announcements to make because again all things new there's lots of new things coming up at Craft Stash including a new website Shauna which I think is going to launch this is it this month or next month? Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be launching soon in Shauna, I believe, is working really hard on that project, right? Are you? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Somebody's working really hard on that project. <laughs> Not Shauna, she's working hard on other things. So yeah, new Craft Stash website coming soon. Super excited for that. Just want to make your shopping experience a little bit easier. So new website coming. And then we also have new... Uh, a new release from Helen Griffin of Simply Made Crafts. And I believe Helen said she was gonna be tuning in. So maybe she can say hello in the comments. So if you're not aware, uh, we have a few co-brands that are exclusive to Craft Stash. And one of them is Simply Made Crafts from Helen Griffin, who you might have um, seen her amazing exploding box die, which might be sold out still on Craft Stash because everybody wanted a copy of that die set because it's amazing. But uh, we have some more Simply Made dies coming. So here are some of her past, uh, the first release. Amazing dies, huge, great value, lots of pieces in here to create 3D projects. 
And also she has paper pads. Uh, she's got ribbons and sequins and all sorts, but she has some new stuff coming up, which we're really excited about. And Helen's going to be joining us next Friday on Facebook Live for her brand new release. But I kind of wanted to just do like a quick sneaky peeky of what's coming, like just kind of flash the products up at you because <laughs> what well, we want to save like the big reveal for Helen, but I'm just going to show these super fast. Put them away. <laughs> And I, I also wanted to share some of the um, some of the projects that you can make with her new release, which are here. So if you can guess what these are, I can't go into too much detail because we want again we want to save the big reveal for when Helen is in the studio next week. But do you see what that is? Do you see what that is? Yay, Shauna! You know what that is? No, <laughs> she does not know. And this is another one as well from Helen Griffin coming soon, 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 soon. And the great thing about this is that one of the prize bundles that we're going to be giving away today is the new stuff that's coming from Helen. So you're going to get it first, which is, which I think is really cool. I think that's cool. Okay, let me read some comments. Yay. Yay. Uh, Lorna James says, hi, Helen, loving your collections. Annette Dagwell says, love your exploding box dye, Helen. Uh, Lisa Feldman says, they look great. Everybody's saying hi to Helen because she's here. Oh, yeah, I just scrolled up. Sorry. Hi, Helen. Thank you so much for joining us. Helen celebrated her birthday earlier this week. Happy birthday to Helen. Um, 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 um. Da -da 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 -da. Rebecca Holiday says that she's, uh, she says, oh, good. Uh, about the new craft stash website. She says, please let us be able to view more items per page on the website. Good suggestion. Thank you for that. We are going to make note of that. So yes, leave your comments below about all the things that we're going to be announcing today. Everybody's loving, everybody's loving that exploding box die. It's amazing. Okay. Yeah. So if you loved Helen's exploding box die, make sure that you Stay tuned because she's got more, more great things coming. All right. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to tell you how to enter uh, that giveaway to receive one of Helen uh, Simply Made Crafts Prize Bundle in just a bit. We wanted to talk about some more new things, new, 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 so many new things. Let's talk about hard making magic. Christina Griffiths, who joined me for our last. A Facebook live broadcast of 2018. Now, Christina has, as you know, she has a, a range at Craft Stash called Card Making Magic with dies, embossing folders, stamps, stencils, all sorts. Uh, but she just released a card making collection box kit, which is really cool. She was really excited about it. And what it is, if you've never seen our card making collection kits, they are jam packed with goodies. So you get papers, you get uh, an ideas magazine, you get um, stamps, you get an embossing folder, you get some dies. But there's something extra with Christina's, which is really cool. So I just wanted to show you that. If we can get the top down camera today. Thank you, Shauna. So there is the ideas magazine. And then you flip through here. Let me move my embossing. Sorry, my um, die cutting machine out of the way. We're gonna be doing a demo in just a bit, so stay tuned for that. So here is her um, ideas magazine. So lots of ideas, tips and tricks and projects uh, to use, to try out with the papers and also everything that's inside of the kit. Now this is what I wanted to show you, this little extra that's in here because it's a stencil, but it's a template and it's really cool. I thought it was really innovative, innovative, innovative. I struggle with how to say that word. How do you say it, Shauna? I don't know. In innovative? Innovative. Innovative. I don't know, you can't make me confused. Innovative. innovative. You guys say innovative. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here is that stencil. So we have this quatrefoil stencil, but it's also a template to make a box, which you know Christina has some awesome box dies in her collection. And then we have this really fun embossing folder. 
So yeah, all of that comes inside of her card making collection kit. So make sure to check that out and also these papers. Beautiful, beautiful. So we're gonna put that back here. And yeah, Christina has more fun stuff coming, uh, coming soon, you guys. Last time she was here, she showed us some of her new releases. She had that awesome alphabet die, which I know a lot of you uh, purchased because you've shared about it on the Craft Stash Chat Facebook group, which is our exclusive Facebook group for Craft Stash friends. And you can join that by searching Craft Stash Chat and just uh, send a request to join. But yeah, here are some of Christina's new things. Let's get the top down again. Shauna, thank you. <laughs> so we've got this beautiful bow die, which you've seen previously. And then we have the ribbon threading dies, and then some of her new uh, pattern block sentiment stamps. So really fun. And then we have this new A2 sized box die set. So she already has a five by seven box die set and a six by six box die set, but now we have the A2 card size box set. So super excited about that. And we're gonna be giving away another giveaway. So. Our next prize bundle is going to be the card making collection kit, the pattern black, pattern, sorry, pattern block stamp, stamps, and the A2 sized box die set. So that's gonna be one of the prizes so that you can have a play. And I will tell you how to enter that in just a bit. Stay tuned, keep tuning in. I don't know where to put this. Where should I put this? I'll put this underneath. All right. <laughs> Shauna just looked at my little pile under my desk and she is unsure about whether it's going to stay. <laughs> yeah, Linda Maddox says she loves the alphabet die. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Lily Newsom says, lovely set. Tracy Wright says that her crafting mojo has vanished. Hope this will help me get it back. Hmm, that happens. That happens. Let us know how you get out of crafting, crafting ruts. All right, Lisa Feldman says she loves trying new things. Um, <laughs> Lily says that products keep jumping into her basket on craft stash, whoops. Uh, Net Dagwell says that she got her card making magic box uh, kit. The kit, was it the kit, Annette, or the um, box die? She got it earlier this week and it's amazing. Um, ma, ma, ma. Wendy says that she's looking forward to the card making magic kit. Yes, it's, it's great. We're really excited for Christina because she just, it's the first one that her first box kit. So we're really excited and there's going to be more coming soon. All right. Lovely. Sheree Chapman says, wow, lovely giveaways. Yes, we are known for having some awesome giveaways. <laughs> All right. Now another, uh, co-brand, which has more uh, new releases coming up and they're actually going to be on Hachanda this weekend. So tune in if you, I don't have a TV license. You can see that online, right? Hachanda? <laughs> can you see that online? Oh, okay. Do you have a TV license, Shauna? Okay. I don't, I don't have one. Should I get one? I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the Craftwork Cards is going to be on Hachanda showing some new products. And these are the ones that we cannot show but you are able to win them. So I don't know how I'm gonna do that because we're gonna give those away to you guys, but we can't show them yet. So um, just trust us, <laughs> there's some good stuff in there. You're gonna get uh, a, a paper pad kit called, I think we can say the name of it. Can we say the name of it? I think we can. Maybe we can't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay, it's it's called the, um, no, I'm not gonna say the name of the, <laughs> of the new collection. Sorry guys, I should have checked before, before I came on. But it's gonna be, uh, our next prize, third prize is gonna be a Craftwork Cards bundles of all of the new things that are gonna be uh, showing on Hachanda this weekend. So I will instead show you some previous Craftwork Cards products which we are, uh, we have another Facebook Live broadcast on uh, like every other Thursday or so on uh, the Craftwork Cards Facebook page. And we're on there with Jillian Cox, who is gonna be um, presenting on Hachanda. 
And so we, we do uh, crafty demos. It's very much like the Craft Stash Facebook live broadcast. So there's giveaways, there's demonstrations, and we show the new products. But here is uh, some previous um, craft work cards collections that we want to show you. Can we switch to the top down? Thank you. <laughs> so here is the Violet Tea Collection. And so there's a paper pad, there's beautiful toppers, and these are hand drawn and watercolored as well. Beautiful, beautiful. And then there's um, eight by eight. These are all eight by eight size. And then there's just a plain cardstock that complements the entire collection. So that's the Violet Tea, and that's available on Craft Stash. And then they also have some beautiful embossing folders. And this is one of my favorites, which was from a recent release, Go Wild six by six embossing folder. And I'm going to show you um, a demonstration with this in just a bit. And then we have a Go Wild die and stamp set, which coordinates with this one here. And then we also have some beautiful A4 size stamps by Craftwork Cards. And this is seriously my favorite. I think everyone should own this stamp set. It's called Say It With Sentiments. There's 27 stamp sets in here. Sorry, let me hold it closer to the camera. And there's literally one for every occasion. So if you're looking for some beautiful sentiment stamps for all your cards and projects, this is the one. There's Christmas. I believe there's Halloween as well. Was there a Halloween one? No, I don't see it. Oh yeah, here it is. Trick or treat. I knew it. <laughs> and then we have, um, yeah, congrats uh, for dad, like a best dad, mom, happy birthday to you. Christmas, uh, happy retirement all the sentiments on here so really this is a great great one to add to your stash so yeah a craft work card surprise mystery bundle <laughs> for one lucky person in just a bit i will tell you how to enter that right before we get to the demos oh my goodness we have 104 people watching amazing we should we should do something special whenever we hit over 100. Hmm like throw confetti in the air <laughs> something i don't know um doo -doo 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 -doo. sorry sorry just scrolling through the comments debbie siddle says beautiful collection going to use some of it to make a wedding card this year um jeanette leonard says that she loves the silhouettes and she's talking about this one for the gold wild stamp and die set uh, Sue Garner says, oh my gosh, I love giraffes. <laughs> Mary Millington says, what a lovely bundle. Sue Lloyd is loving these. Tracy Arnold loves that embossing folder. This one, it's so fun because it's like a, a cheetah print, like an animal print, but they're hearts. Like you can see just little, little hearts there. Super cute, super cute. All right, all right. Richard Simpson says that, um, loves the stamp set. Lisa Feldman uh, says that's fab. Tom McCormick, great bundle. Annette Mercer says that she loves craft work cards. What a great selection. And um, let's see, let's see. Mary Millington loves the animals. Everybody's loving the stamps. All right. Okay, nice. So we've got New craft work cards coming up, new Helen Griffin coming up, Christina, card making magic, new stuff coming up. And I've got my show notes here so that I don't forget all of the new announcements, new website. We also have a new co-brand. So like I mentioned, we have all these co-brands. We work with some amazing craft bloggers like Christina Griffiths and um, Helen Griffin. I just realized that they both have similar last names. <laughs> I did not realize that till now. I don't know why. Helen Griffiths? No, Helen Griffin. Sorry, Christina Griffiths. See? It's confusing. So our new co-brand that we're really excited to announce that's coming your way soon is going to be Olga Dyrtenko. I hope I said that right. I do apologize if I did it. So she is based in Ukraine and she's an amazing paper craft blogger. She has a YouTube channel and a blog. She makes stunning uh, cards and just all sorts and I think her, her specialty is really die cutting so if you're looking for some die cutting inspiration if you want someone new to follow on YouTube then I definitely recommend Olga she uh, I believe um, Laura is our social media manager is going to be posting some links for you for you to check out Olga's 
channel and also her blog for some inspiration. I'm sure she will get help you get out of that uh, crafty rut. If you're having one, you're going to be inspired. She makes beautiful things and there are some new products from Olga coming your way soon on craft stash you're gonna love these i had a sneak peek of them and they're beautiful and it would be amazing if we were able to have olga on the facebook live broadcast as well but we also have some more um not co-brands but new new products coming your way from um john lockwood john next door so there's some new stuff coming on the website for that and also lavinia stamps and the last one, I have to look at my notes because I can't remember. My memory is terrible. I mean, Marianne Designs is another amazing one that's coming to Craft Stash. And there's going to be uh, stamps and dies, beautiful stamps and dies from uh, Marianne Designs. So make sure that you are subscribed to our newsletter, free email newsletter. You can sign up on the Craft Stash website. A little pop-up will come up or you can scroll down to the bottom and click the link to subscribe to our email newsletter so that you get those daily <laughs> updates we send an email out every day because really there's always so much coming <laughs> your way right shoshana <laughs> so much and, and you'll miss it if you're not subscribed and there's also great deals in there as well and then let's see oh yeah new 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 so many new things Sorry, just checking in on these. Tom McCormick says, uh, yay, Lavinia. So he loves, Tom, Tom McCormick is really good uh, on uh, stamping. If you are in the Craft Stash chat group, check out his posts. They're really inspiring. Um, 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 um. Mary Millington says, I have ordered lots from Craft Stash and I must say that she loves the quality and quickness of delivery. Thank you for the fantastic service. Tracy Arnold says that she loves Lavinia. So yeah, new Lavinia stuff, Lavinia stamps coming soon. Hooray. All right. Ooh, and then um, some, uh, oh, Jennifer McMullins says that she follows Olga on YouTube, which is really great. And if you're looking for some more inspiration, new bloggers, new craft bloggers to follow, then we also have, um, we also wanted to men mention Sasha of Handmade Happiness. And she does um, really good stamping and Copic coloring. And she is from the Netherlands. You probably already follow her, but if you don't, make a note of it because she has a really nice YouTube channel beautiful color and beautiful cards so you can follow her. And we also uh, wanted to mention Julia's art. And she is from, sorry, I had to write this down. She, oh, she's from the UK. I thought she was from the Netherlands as well. So Julia's art, uh, she's based in the UK and she's really good at card folding techniques and quilling if you've ever wanted to get into that. I have never tried quilling. I don't know where to start, but her tutorials look really easy. So you can follow Julia's art and also Sasha of Handmade Happiness. And we will include all those links in just a bit for you so that you can just click right over. All right, time for, time for a demonstration. Yes, this is the awkward part where we shuffle everything out of the way to get ready for the demonstration. Yes, thank you, Sean, <laughs> for reminding me. I will announce the giveaway question. I always announce the giveaway question before the demonstration. So our giveaway question to enter one of our, uh, sorry, to win one of our three prize bundles that we're giving away. All you have to do is answer the question in the comments below. What would you like to see more of on Facebook Live? On our Facebook Live podcast. So is it uh, mixed media? Is it journaling? Is it card making? If you could be specific as possible as to uh, what you would like to see more of during the Facebook Live broadcast, that will enter you for a chance to win one of our three prize bundles. So get to answering. I will try to uh, read some of these out loud during the demonstration. Are we on the top down camera soon? Oh no, I put away the bossing folder that I was gonna be using because I forgot. Let me dig for it. There it is. Okay, so I believe in the last Facebook Live broadcast that we had, we had some requests for some embossing folder techniques on how to use embossing folders and just 
what else you could do with them besides embossing. So I wanted to do a quick demonstration using the Craftwork Cards uh, Go Wild embossing folder because it's amazing. <laughs> so the first thing that we're going to do, and this is my go-to embossing folder technique, is to um, emboss, emboss, sorry, emboss on my embossing, sorry, emboss on my embossing folder, gosh, tongue twister, with some white core cardstock or white backed cardstock. So this is a piece of like, a, it's not Mary card, it's just like a, a pearlescent kind of gold pearlescent type of paper, but on the back it has the white backing. So it's gonna give us a really nice embossed effect. So let me get my platforms, my cutting pads here. I'm using a cuddle bug today. So I'm gonna get my embossing folder. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm gonna put my paper right in there. And then for the cuddle bug, if you have a cuddle bug, the combination for, for embossing is the A platform, B pad, your embossing folder with your paper inside, and another cutting pad on top. And then we're just gonna roll that through. There it goes. Oh, there we go. My handle was stuck. There it is. All right, and you get just a beautiful texture. Now you can leave this as is, right? If you want, it's gorgeous. But because it has that white backing, or if you're using white core cardstock, you can just remove the top layer with a sanding block. If you don't have a sanding block, you can uh, try sandpaper and you just go over the surface. And it's gonna remove that gold pearlescent uh, finish on top and it's gonna reveal the white. Hopefully you can hear me over the sounding, uh, so sanding, <laughs> over the sanding. And it's gonna, yeah, so once you sand that down, you will get a really nice weathered kind of effect. And it'll reveal some of that white, um, the white backing part. So it's just a quick way to add some like interest and get a nice weathered rugged effect on your embossing. Super easy, it gets a little, uh, what is this, dusty. So I'm just gonna dust it off on the ground. I'll vacuum that up later. <laughs> and you can just keep sanding this down. And it gives you a completely different look, which is really fun. that doesn't hurt anybody's teeth. Does that make you grind your teeth? No. Do you have things like that that make you ground, grind your teeth? Like chalk nails on chalkboards? <laughs> Mine is when the fork hits the dinner plate wrong. <laughs> it hurts my insides. <laughs> so hopefully that didn't hurt anybody's ears. But yeah, look at that. Just a quick way to emboss. A different uh, twist on embossing. And the next one, I wanted to show you one more thing that you can do with embossing folders. What's our time looking like? We're good still? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I wanted to read some of these comments. Sorry, could you switch to the main, <laughs> main shop for just a bit? I wanted to read some of these entries. Ooh, Faith Berry says that she would love to see techniques with metallic mousses as she hasn't dabbled in that and she's a bit unsure of the possibilities. Good idea. Uh, Gemma Goodall says she would love to see more card making. I love that you're showing us embossing today as that's what I wanted before. Die cutting is a passion of mine. Mixed media, I'm not so, not sure about that. Um, Julian Ashraf says, inking backgrounds, please. Mary Millington says she would love to see different shaped cards. Uh, Sid Coleman says, would love to have demos uh, seeing um, for making wall hangings and using stamps and dies. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Pam Nettle Ship says that she would also love more demos on coloring with alcohol pens, in particular blending. All right. And Linda Maddox says that she has not tried that with the sanding block and she's going to have to give it a try. Yes, I highly recommend it. It's just a quick way to add a different effect to your embossing. All right, so keep those entries coming if you want to win uh, one of our prize bundles today. 
All you have to do is answer the question in the comments. What would you like to see more of on our Facebook live broadcast? If you could be as specific as possible, because that helps us out a ton. All right, so the last thing I wanted to show you how to do, and this was, honestly, the first time I tried this, it was a little bit intimidating because anytime that you ink up an embossing folder, it, it's, an, it's terrifying for some reason. I don't know if that's just me, um, but I wanted to show you how to heat emboss with an embossing folder and you get a really nice metallic effect. Oh, what is that alarm? That's weird. There's an alarm going, should be fine. I don't think it's a fire alarm or anything. We're okay. Okay, it stopped. <laughs> Gotta love live broadcasts, guys. Okay, so here is what um, that effect looks like when you heat emboss an embossing folder. I think that's really fun. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Super easy, not scary, don't be scared. I was scared, but I got over it and now I love it. <laughs> okay, so here we have a piece of cardstock. This is navy blue. I hope you can see the color there. It kind of looks like black on the screen. So you want to set this aside, set your cardstock aside, and you want to grab some embossing ink. There are several available on the Craft Stash website. We've got um, a Nouveau, which is one of my favorites, Nouveau Clear Mark Embossing Pad, the Wow Embossing Pad Clear Ultra Slow Drying, and there's also uh, one from Ranger called uh, The Letter It, which I've used before in demonstrations. So many choices. If you would, you know, uh, let us know what you use for embossing. I'm sure you have your favorites as well. I'm gonna use the uh, Wow Embossing Pad because I feel like it's extra juicy and you really do want the ultra slow drying action that this one promises, which it actually delivers because it does slow, uh, it, it does dry slow. So what we're gonna do is just kind of tap our embossing ink pad on our embossing folder. That sounds confusing a little bit. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just tap right there, just tap all the way across. You don't want to squeeze too hard. You don't want to be too forceful. <laughs> don't put too much pressure on this because what happens is the ink will seep into the areas that you do not want your uh, embossing powder to go on. So just kind of tap lightly all the way across. Now you can try inking up. You can try, sorry, you can try adding your embossing ink on either the deboss side or the emboss side. So this one has the raised edges on this side and this one has the like debossed lower edges. So there's no, like if you run your hand over this side, it's completely, almost completely smooth. But here you have some raised edges. I've always had better luck doing it on the debossed side. It just works for me. So I recommend that if you're trying this technique, try it out on the debossed, debossed side of your embossing folder. I hope that's not confusing and if it is leave you can leave your questions and we will I will try to answer them after the broadcast all right so you want to get that nice and inky that's looking good all right and then we're going to put our paper inside now this is where you say a little prayer and you hope that nothing shifts and moves around and that everything works out once you close this once you close your embossing folder, you have to commit to whatever's gonna happen, to whatever outcome, whatever result you're gonna get. There is no turning back. So you close that up, and then we're gonna grab our platforms, and we're going to emboss this like we did previously, running it through our cuddle bug. And you say some more prayers, and you hope that this works out. <laughs> all right that is looking promising i might hmm we'll see we'll see so you can't really see the ink there but the ink the embossing ink is there hopefully on the right sections of the embossing so we're going to grab our our piece of scrap paper and then we have our embossing powder, and I'm gonna be using this copper tinsel from Ranger. Let me show that closer. It's like a bronzy, sparkly kind of powder. Really beautiful. And we're gonna sprinkle this all the way across. 
Now this should, the powder should uh, cling to the ink, the ink that we tapped on there previously. It looks like I missed some areas, like I wasn't very heavy handed in the middle. But that's all right, it gives this kind of a cool effect. So you can see the powder there. We're gonna melt that down in just a bit. Just gotta save this excess. Nobody sneeze, that would be a disaster. All right. And then we're gonna melt our powder with our heat tool. For my heat tool today, I am using the uh, Ranger Heat It Tool. Available on Craft Stash, I believe, but in the color white. But mine is black, so we're just going to melt that. And I apologize if you can't hear me. You should still be able to hear me over the sound. And you want to keep your fingers away from this. So hold it here, the tip of your finger, so you don't burn yourself. Because your heat tools can get quite hot. And hopefully you can see it's going to start changing magically before our eyes with the heat. And I love watching embossing change. It's really mesmerizing for some reason. There it goes. Beautiful. It's starting to get really sparkly. I definitely missed some sections there in the center. I guess I didn't press down hard enough with my embossing ink, but I'm going to show you a cool little uh, trick that you should have, like one little tool that's going to change your embossing, your heat embossing. And I think everyone should have this in their craft stash. It's an embossing pen, which is amazing. Let me know if you have one. Not you should get one because it's basically the same thing as an embossing ink pad but in a pen format so that you can uh, fix any mistakes or add additional embossing powder to certain areas of your projects really cool i'm going to show you how to use that in just a bit there are a few uh, brands available on craft stash we've got the wow embossing ink pen but there's also a versifying uh, brand which i don't have with me but that one's a double-sided uh, pen, embossing ink pen, and it's got a brush tip and a fine tip. So that's really cool. It gives you options. Some nice options. So this is still melting. We've got this center here. There's just that one little piece in the center I can see. It's not melting, but it's getting there. It's getting there, guys. It's so sparkly. Have you tried heat embossing yet, Shauna? No? You should. It's fun. Does it look scary to you? Does it look intimidating? Yeah, huh? It does look a little intimidating, but lots of practice. Helps you get more confident. There it goes. Sorry, we're just waiting for this to melt. Do some nice melting. I think that's good. I think that's all done. Okay, so that is looking good. And then what we're going to show you. So see here how we have just whole areas missing where I did a terrible job with my inking of my embossing folder. You can take your embossing pen and just lightly go over the areas where you have embossing that's missing. So it's a really great way to fix mistakes or if you wanna personalize a card and spell out a name and then heat emboss that, you can do that as well. So I'm not gonna cover all of these areas but I just wanted to show you quickly how it works because it's really cool. And again, I highly recommend that everybody has some type of embossing ink pen in their crafty toolkit. They're just great for fixing errors. Mistakes, which I make many, many, many crafting mistakes all the time. <laughs> so we're just gonna sprinkle that, shake off the excess. 
And there you see it got covered there and we just have to melt that down. Embossing ink pens are so cool. Hopefully you're still entering the giveaway. There's still time to enter that giveaway to win one of our prize bundles. So I'm just gonna melt this. And it's here, just uh, this little section here where I added the embossing ink pen. Ooh la la, look how nice. Yay, and it fixed it, see? And if I had more time, I would definitely do this whole, <laughs> that whole area that I missed right there. But such a great little tool. I hope you like that. Mm -hmm. And if you would like to still enter the giveaway, you still can, there's still time. All you have to do is answer the question, what do you want to see more of on the Facebook live broadcast? Would you like to see more card making, uh, demonstrations, planner, journals, mixed media? Let us know, be as specific as possible. That helps us out a ton. Okay, so I did this one beforehand. So this is the same, same technique. But here I took my time and actually did a good job inking up my embossing folder. And then if you can switch back down to the top down camera. Thank you, Shauna. So here I have just a card blank, green card stock, scored and folded, and I can glue that on there. And then I have a craft colored circle that I've embossed and die cut and just did the exact same technique, but on craft colored card stock. So if I turn that around, you can see it's just craft colored cardstock, but when I embossed it, he embossed it, it just gave it a nice fun metallic, um, metallic effect. So then we're just gonna glue that down, need some glue. Super easy card. I feel like with embossing folders, they make great backgrounds. And um, I don't know, you can make really quick cards if you have a few embossing folders to pick from. They always, it's like your go-to for a quick embossing folder. I'm sorry, a quick um, card background. So we're just gonna glue that down and the glue that I'm using today is our favorite glue ever. My favorite glue ever. <laughs> Cosmic Shimmer uh, Dries Clear Glue. Available on Craft Stash and there's different sizes available, different um, amounts. So I'm just gonna glue that circle right there. Just glue that down. And then I'm gonna add a sentiment. The sentiment that I am using today is from Card Making Magic. This is one of Christina's sentiment dies on your special day. And I used a piece of vellum for the outline die just to give it a nice little backing and then just white cardstock for the just the main sentiment. Beautiful, beautiful. Now to glue this down, uh, usually adhesive shows on vellum paper. So it's, it's really difficult, kind of impossible to find adhesive that dries clear on vellum, but I have my handy dandy sticks to two in one uh, glue pen. Is this sticks to? I believe it is. No, it might not be. Sailor, glue pens. Everyone should have one in their stash as well. So it's just a glue with a fine tip. Looks exactly like a pen. And what I'm gonna do is just add some adhesive along the back of my sentiment. And I recommend storing your glue pens. And if you have an embossing ink pen like this one, always store, store them with the tip down so that the ink, or in this case, the glue just flows down naturally with gravity and you're not struggling. Like I'm struggling now because my pen was on its side for just a bit, transporting everything over here to the video studio from our offices, and so now it's not flowing. Of course it's not flowing. Let's try this. Nope. <laughs> it was working perfectly fine two hours ago. All right, no worries. It's because it was on its side for too long. So make sure that you store your glue pens right side up with the, I'm sorry, with a, with a pointy tip down so that all your glue and your ink just flows downward. I feel like it wants to go. It does, it's being finicky. Sorry guys. 
let's just use our cosmic shimmer. I'm just going to put some tiny little dots on the back right behind the sentiment so that our adhesive is strategically disguised. And then we can just glue that down. And we've got a little quick, simple card, easy breezy to make. Got that metallic finish with our embossing, our heat embossing. Super easy, super duper easy. Do you feel like that was easy, Shauna? Is that something that you would attempt? Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. <laughs> All right. Let's see, let's see. Whoops, just lost all the comments. Here we go. Lynn Clifton says, thanks for the glue pen tip. Have just turned mine around as it had the pen tip upward. Yes, it does make a difference. So glue pens, embossing ink pens, and also if you have any um, white gel ink pens, I recommend storing them this way or like brush tip pens. If you have, if it's a double-sided pen, then store it on its side. It's just a good, good, word, uh, good, good tip to try. Oh, Kath Nuttall is watching. Hello, Kath. How are you, friend? <laughs> Kath used to help us behind the scenes on our Facebook Live broadcast. Hope you're doing well, Kath. All right, everybody is putting their glue pens in the pot. <laughs> the pot, the pots now. They're pen pots, so <laughs> turn it this way. <laughs> Such a little life-saving tip. <laughs> um, okay, so let me check to see if we have... A winner yet I believe we may we do hooray all right time to announce the winners we got three winners today so first winner is going to win the new Helen Griffin um, products that's gonna be a little Helen Griffin prize bundle and the second winner is gonna win the craft work cards <laughs> secret prize bundle that we can't show, <laughs> can't show you guys. We got to trust us. It's amazing. And the third winner is going to win the card making magic collection, uh, box kit, the new kit, and also the, the dies and the stamps that I showed you earlier. So let's get a drum roll. All right. So we've got three winners today. All right. So Winner number one, drum roll, Joan Murphy. I got a big set of Spectrum Noir pens for Christmas, so would like to see demos on coloring techniques. Uh, she's a complete novice. For example, shading on stamped items and shading on stamped items and background techniques. All right, thank you so much. That's a great suggestion. Congratulations. <laughs> Next one, Kaylee. I like to see how to extend the size for uh, a larger card with regular size embossing folders. Hmm. Okay. So like more embossing. So it'd be like an embossing folder technique. All right. Well done, Kaylee. Congratulations. And the last one is Jeanette Leonard. I would love 3D projects like gift boxes, mini tea, light lanterns, sweet treat boxes, decorated CD gift boxes, and window hanging ornaments. All right, so more like off the page kind of, kind of ideas. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations, well done. I believe Laura will be sending you a private message soon to get all of your details. For the winners, congratulations. Hope that you enjoyed today's broadcast. We do apologize again one more time for our technical difficulties earlier. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. I always get really awkward when it's me flying solo. <laughs> but uh, hope you hope you had fun. It was a good time, I think. It was good. It was good, guys. I had fun. <laughs> hope you did too. And we will see you next week. Same time, same place of Friday, Facebook Live, 1 o'clock. And we're going to be joined by Helen Griffin of Simply Made Crafts. Cannot wait. We will see everyone soon. Bye.